For you. Look, I gotta set the tripod up. Give me a second. What? I have nothing. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome back to this channel. I hope you've all been well. Um, I know it's been a while since I've posted on this channel. Um, I'm not very good at keeping up on YouTube, but I, I do do a pretty good job at posting regularly. Are you trying to fight me? Huh? I do. I do do a pretty good job at posting regularly on all of the other socials, um, so if you'd like to stay connected and see what's been going on in our world, uh, be sure to follow us on those. They're all listed um, below. I have no idea if you're going to be able to hear me over Juniper talking in the back, but we're going to do our best. I have some exciting news that I want to share with all of you. So this is kind of a long story, and the full story is posted down on my Patreon. If you would like to support us that way, you are welcome to do so. But long story short, a few weeks ago, Elmwood had to go into the vet for an emergency situation. As fate would have it, there was a wild red fox that was dropped off at our vet the same day. Um, she had been hit by a car. Uh, it had been a really busy day at the vet, so our vet hadn't had a second to examine her because she was stable. She was just obviously very injured. And so with there being two foxes there, one of the techs got confused and ended up putting the wild red fox um, under anesthesia instead of Elmwood when Elmwood needed to go under anesthesia to be examined. Our vet took one look at this fox's leg and when she pulled the fox's leg up you could just see that there was hardly, there was no way that she was going to be able to save that bone. Her leg looked like jello, it was, the bone was clearly shattered. The vet's initial reaction was, I have to put this animal down because she's clearly not going to be able to be released back into the wild. Um, the only other option would be to amputate her leg and she would have to spend the rest of her life in captivity. I interjected and said that I would pay for her amputation um, and I would give her a home if she made it through surgery and everything went fine. So fast forward a few weeks and now we have a beautiful girl. Please, I'm trying to talk. Is it? I love you. Yeah. I'm trying to film a video. So fast forward a few weeks and now we have a beautiful female fox named Lark. The foxes are being really naughty, so I'm just gonna go and film inside because this is a lot. So, this is Lark. She's still very shy, which is gonna be normal. She is a wild fox, so she's not used to human interaction. She's a very tiny girl. She only weighs about six pounds. So her surgery went well and she's actually a really sweet girl. She's getting around great with only three legs. She does have a banged up nose and she's missing quite a few of her teeth. I hope that soon she's gonna settle in and realize that this is home. Um, you can follow us down below. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.